this is Marcy. So I wanted to do my first treadmill workout with you guys to show you some of the variations that you can do for those of you that either have a treadmill at home or if you have a treadmill at a gym. And if you don't have a treadmill, it's simply cardio. That's why in all of my total body workouts, I always use the jump rope. So jumping rope, running in place like this, and using a treadmill and doing high knees is all pretty much equivalent. So don't feel bad if you don't have a treadmill. Just check out this workout and then you obviously don't have to use a treadmill. You can also run outside. You can go to a track and do this workout. And this is our workout for today. So again, beginners, I want you to just start off at 10 minutes. And intermediate, I want you to go to 15 minutes. And advanced, I want you to do 20 minutes. So this is 20 minutes. Every minute, you're gonna do cardio. And then every off minute, you're gonna get down. You're gonna do 10 push-ups and 10 squats, okay? Then you're gonna get back on the treadmill, run for a minute, get back on the floor, 10 push-ups, 10 squats. And you're gonna try and go to as many rounds as you can. So if you wanna keep track, get a little notepad, put it on your treadmill so you can keep count. If not, you know, just do the workout, which I tend to do. I don't like to keep count too much, which is why I do so many interval uh, training-based workouts, okay? So I'm gonna briefly go over the exercises and let's get into it. All right, tighter. So a push-up is a push-up. Intermediate advance, your push-ups look like this. You're gonna get in the plank position. Your entire body should be extremely tight. And I want you to go down, bending your arms and coming up, okay? So try not to look down like this the whole time. Try to keep a neutral head. I always like to call them military push-ups because when they're given attention, they're always down. Okay, that's what I want you to do. Beginners, go and put those knees on the ground. You can put the feet up in the air. You can cross them or you can leave them down. Okay, and I want you to go down. Try and get your chest to touch the ground. Okay, you can't do that. At least go halfway and bend your arms and come back up. That's gonna be your push up and you're doing 10. From there, you're gonna get right up and do squats. I do so many squats because it's not just your legs and your glutes, okay? You're working out your core and your back, everything when you do a squat. So when you're doing a squat, down 90 degrees and come up, okay? So for intermediate advance, if you want to take it down and do goblet squats, that means you squat. You're going all the way down like this and you're still pushing back up on those heels to come up. So you're down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's pretty much going past 90 degrees. Intermediate beginners, if you wanna be in that range, just go 90 degrees. You're down 90 degrees and you're up. Remember, 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 all of you that are new to me, you must squat on your heels, okay? I do not want any of this on your toes, okay? Your, your knees shouldn't even be shaken. You should be completely on your heels so that you're sitting in a chair, 90 degrees. You could even read a newspaper and come up, okay? Beginners, if that's a little bit too low for you, I just want you to go a little bit and bend the knees. Bend the knees and come up. Bend the knees and come up. Any kind of bending, sitting back on those heels is good, okay? So again, just like jumping rope, these squats are also excellent, excellent for your knees. Okay, a little treadmill etiquette. Those of you that run on the treadmill, I've always learned that two to three percent incline on a treadmill is like running outside. Now, a lot of people like to run on the treadmill because the concrete is too hard on their knees. That's totally fine. So running on the treadmill, if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, two to 3% incline. And my speed that I run for workouts like this, roughly around 88.5, which is a pretty good pace. I would say that's about 80% for me. If I really wanna sprint it out and, and be completely out of breath, I would definitely put it up to 9.5 or 10 speed. Um, beginners, now let's go to intermediate. I'll keep you around about six. Six should be about, six or 6.5 should be about your 80% um, range. And then if it's too fast for you, you know, just put it down. Beginners, definitely around the five, five point range for you. Okay, so that is kind of the etiquette. And I say let's get into it. All right, so one thing more with the treadmill so that you'll know. Running on the treadmill, if you put it to two incline or three incline, I heard it's like running outside. So if you want that additional challenge, go ahead and put your incline up. And long story short, you're only running a minute. If you're doing cardio, jumping rope, high knees, or running in place, you're only doing a minute. When you're getting down and doing your next exercise, okay? Let's get into it. Play the music, play the music.
the treadmill change. Treadmill workouts are awesome. If you like them, I do more of them. If I don't get much feedback, I'll stick to what we're doing now. So again, running is super important. I tell you this all the time. If you visited my Facebook page, I have one there to do my workout Monday, Wednesday, Friday. When you're off days, you should be doing cardio. Cardio is very important. Still catching my breath. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> you push yourself as hard as you want to push yourself. Good part about treadmill, you have speed that keeps you going. Outside, you have to have it up here, motivation to get your workout in and push as hard as you can and keep your pace. So that's one of the advantages of treadmill workouts. Again, I broke it down for beginner, intermediate, advanced. Everybody can do these workouts. So don't look at it and say, oh my gosh, she's running too fast. That's the whole purpose of a treadmill. You set your own speed. If you don't have a treadmill, again, no worries. Use jump rope, use high knees, use your interval timer to tell you one minute on and put, go ahead and put it on rest for a minute or two minutes, however long it takes you to do 10 push-ups, 10 squats. I'm completely beginning to be drenched in sweat. You should be drenched in sweat. Anytime I run, I begin to be drenched. That's how I like to work out. If you've seen some of my Instagram pictures, I'll take a picture of you after I've done my workout for the day. And people pick on me because I'm so wet. Like, did you put on oil? No, I didn't put on oil. That's how I sweat. Sweating makes working out fun. You're getting all that crap out of your body, all the toxins, all the salts, and you're detoxifying your body just like drinking water all day detoxifies your body. So stay tuned, more workouts are coming, and I'll see you for our next one. Bye.